think that this is one of those situations where you can't make nine. That's interesting. So, what if you put it in I'm there? Call, hold on, hold on. Claire, I'm calling on you first, and then I'm going to call on Drew and Jonah. Um, two plus one equals three, and then one plus one plus one equals three, and three times three equals nine. Whoa. Drew, did you have the same method as that? Yep. And, and what about you, Jonah? Oh, shoot, Jonah, I missed you, buddy. Where are you there? There you are. Same thing. As same thing? Now, guys, would you like to see a easy solution? Oh, wait, wait, I think I have, is it Gabby? Do you have one too, honey? Yeah. Um. One plus one plus one equals three. Got it. And three to the power of two is nine, is nine. So three, and can you explain to me, what does three to the power of two mean? It's three times two, three times three times three. So it's three times three twice, yes, Gabby? So it's three times three two times, and that equals nine. But Gabby, there's still a one. What are you gonna do with it? Nine to the power of one is nine. Wow, man, Gabby, you are a powerful, powerful person. Everybody give her a round of applause. And now, Drew, do you have another another method, or do you do you want to see one of my methods? Hmm. Well, I think. Well, um, if you add two, if you add, I actually don't know any other one. <laughs> you know, guys, this this next one. Guess who gave me this idea? Gabby gave me this idea. Watch this. If I take one plus one plus one is three, but then I do this two to the third power, and you know what that means, two times two times two. Can anybody tell me what that is? Equals on nine. Three, one, two, three, go. Equals nine. Not nine, what's two times two times two? Eight. Eight. And you see this one right here? Plus six. Eight plus one is nine. And I only came up with three solutions. Only three solutions. Now, can anybody tell me why we don't use jacks, queens, and kings? Can anybody tell me why we do not use jacks, queens, and kings. Kennedy, go for it. So, because well, they don't really exactly have a value, it's kind of just like... Well, I like your answer, but what if I told you that jacks were worth 11, queens were oh. worth 12, and kings were worth 13? Then, can anybody give me an explanation for why I might not want to allow these numbers into my game. Who can give me an idea? Think of an impossible card. Think of an impossible card. Jack? Um, I think, um, well first, what does an impossible card mean? Watch this, Jack. You ready? If my target number is 11, and I choose an ace, an ace, an ace, an ace, and a two, is there any way for me to get to the number 11? No. Well, don't say no until we try it. Who's gonna add one plus one plus one plus one? What do we get, guys? Four. And what is two to the fourth power? Remember what Gabby taught us? It's two times two times two times two, four times. Now don't answer out loud. Who can tell me what this is? Two times two is what? Say it. Four. 
And four times two is what? Say it. Eight. And eight times two is what? Say it. Sixteen. And that's too much. So I can't get to 11. I couldn't think of any way. And so therefore, Jack, because an impossible card would not work, they don't allow 11, 12, and 13 into this game. Now, guess what? The new game that we're going to play this week is one of my favorite numbers of all time. And that game is about the number 24. Now, who can tell me how to make 24 with multiplication? Now, I want you raising your hand electronically. Any way that we can multiply two numbers. So, for instance, 2 times 5 is 10. And Omer, I'm going to start with you. Hold on a second. Um, Wait, I got a lot of good answers. I got Omer and then Jesse and then James. Omer, give me one, please. Two times 12. Say it again, please. And simple, two times 12. Two, Are you wait, hold on, hold on one second. Jesse, go for it. Um, it's uh, um, one times 24. Oh, man. And I always start with that one, Jesse. I always start with that one. Uh, Drew, what do you get? Well, you could do two times uh, two times twelve. Absolutely. I know. <laughs> and can you give me another one, buddy? Oh yeah. Um. Well, you could do three times. Six. That's pretty close. Three times six is 18. Six oh, yeah. plus six three plus times. six. Three times eight. Ah, very, very nice. And then Gabriel. Gabriel, give me the, give me the last one. Um, one set. Okay. Four times six. Guys. Everybody put their hands up and say, oh my gosh, that is awesome. Are there any more? Are there any other ways to make 24 with multiplication? Drew, you have your hand up. Uh, well, I just wrote to say what he was about to say, so I just decided to lower my hands. Oh, that's great. Omer, do you have another way? Oh, no, no. Okay, good. I'm going to put everybody's hands down and I'm going to show you my way of doing this. Are you ready? Think of what Jesse said. When Jesse did his 24, he said, Mr. Kramer, one times 24. Now watch this, everybody. My method here is to always double the one and take half of my 24. Let's do it, guys. Double the one on three. One, two, three, go. And two. 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 Take half of 24, go. 12. 12. And isn't that the one that was given to me first? Isn't that the one that Omer gave us? And now let's do it again. Double the two, go. Four. Take half of the 12, go. Six. Six. Oh my gosh. And I think that one was, who gave me that one? Drew. Was that Drew or was that Jack? Oh, that was Gabriel's. That was and then do it again, guys. Double the four, go ahead, go ahead. Eight. Two. And take half of the six. Three. Oh my gosh, and that's the one that Drew gave us. Now, wait a minute, guys. What if we kept going? What's double eight? Six. What is half of three? Don't say it out loud. Half of three, don't say it out loud. Think about this. This one is not as easy. James, go for it. And James, you're muted, so you'll have to unmute yourself. 
Oh, James, okay. you're still muted, buddy. So you may have your sound off on your computer. That's what usually happens. Uh, Kennedy, go for it. Oh, I'm sorry, wait, wait, hold on. Camilla, go for it. 1.5. Whoa. 1.5, or we could say one and a half, or we could just say three halves. Camilla, that was not a good one. That was a great one. Thank you. Can we do it again? Come on, double 16, go. 32, and then take half of 1.5. That's kind of crazy. Who can do that? Omer, can you do that one for me? Zero. And no, I can't. Well, keep trying it. Kennedy, go for it. 0.75. Oh my God, 0.75, which is equal to three quarters. Do you know that 32 times three quarters is 24? 16 times one and a half is 24. And do you know that I could keep going on and on and on? I could do 64 uh, times three eighths. And I could do 128 times three sixteenths. And I could do 256 times three thirty twoths. But, but do you know what? That's not gonna help us with the game 24 because the game 24 only recognizes whole numbers, oh. like one and 24, two and 12, four and six, eight and three. And I'm gonna show you that right now. Look at your page one in your packet. Page one in your packet, I showed you some of the ways to make 24. Now, it's not all the ways. Notice how Mr. Kramer loves to make rectangles. So I decided that I wanted to show one times 24 with a big long rectangle. Or two times 12 with a two by 12 rectangle. Or four by six with a four by six rectangle. Eight by three with an eight by three rectangle and everyone has exactly 24 boxes. Now, everybody knows that zero plus 24 is what? 24. And then one plus 23 and so forth. Why do you think I stopped at 12 plus 12? This is a challenge question. Why did I stop at 12 plus 12? Who can tell me why I stop. Can you raise your hand electronically? Claire, go for it. Um, there's no more addition strategies or it would be backwards. <gasps> like, Guys, if you took, look at what Claire just said. If you took 13 plus 11, that's the same as 11 plus 13. And so it, it's actually called the commutative property. Everybody say that. Commutative property. Say it one more time. Commutative property. Now, I love subtraction too. Yes? Somebody had something to say? Jack, was that you? Okay. So I'm going to now go to the game board page. Are you ready? Oh, Drew, do you have a question, buddy? So, um, you actually can do it. Um, you could do six and a half and 17 and a half. Wait a minute. Six and a half and 17 and a half. Hey guys, everybody give Drew a round of applause on that one. That is crazy awesome. Drew, and I wish we allowed fractions in this game. But this game is only allowed with whole numbers. So watch this. Everybody go to page two in their packet. Everybody go to page two in their packet. So what I wanted to show you here, and I'm gonna mute everybody for just a minute. What I wanted to show you here is the way that Mr. Kramer plays this game. 
I do not start taking cards and thinking of how I can add or subtract them. I first think of ways that I want to make 24. So 1 and 24 times is 24. 10 plus 14. 0 plus 24. 25 minus 1. If I created an idea of 6 times 4, everybody watch this. I can choose, well, how do I want to make six? Three times two. How do I want to make four? I don't know. How about nine take away five? So I could literally create my own game cards. And Drew, what do you see? Well, um, so um, you could you could have said two. So like, um, you know, you know to make 24, you could always just add 22 plus one plus one, that equals 24 in addition. So you could make a 22 plus two card. I want everybody right now to choose a strategy. For instance, Drew chose a 22 plus two card. And I'm gonna hit mute for a second. Drew chose 22 plus two. I chose six times four. You guys write down your own choice from this list. And then I want you to create your own card and then share it with me. Now I'm gonna give you one more example while you're doing this. I'm gonna choose an eight times three card and I'm gonna write out two to the third power is eight and seven minus four is three. That's just one of the thousands of ways that I could make a card. So go ahead, pick up that pencil right now. This is not a mental exercise. This is an exercise with pencil and paper, and you should come up with a thousand different ways to do this. And I mean it, there are literally thousands and thousands of ways. Raise your hand electronically when you have a solution and then keep going and find more. So James, you are no longer, there we go. And, and see if we can, and I see Jesse there, good. Chris, you working on this? Yep. Okay, and Chris, what's your strategy? Which one did you choose to work on? I chose 26 minus two. And did you come up with a solution card yet for that? Uh, no, I'm working on it right now though. Okay, awesome, awesome. Gabby, what did you come up with, honey? So my, my, mine was 48 divided into two groups. So my number call would be 20, 10, 18, and two. 20, 10, 18, and two, and can you tell me how you got to 48 and how you got to two? So for the 48, I did 10 plus 20 equals 30. 30 plus 18 equals 48, and then the two. That is awesome. Now do another one right now. Do another one right now. That was so cool. Who's got another one for me? Camilla, do you have one? How about you, Maisie? I want to hear from everybody. And if you want a little help, you say, Mr. Kramer, can you help me to choose a, a, num a, a number fact to make 24? I can do that, or I can help you solve it. How you doing, Teddy? You gonna try that, buddy? Oh, James, I'm gonna choose you right now. Go for it. Go ahead, James. Give me your target first. Oh, and James, you're uh, muted once again, which means that your sound is off on your computer because you're not muted on my side, which means your sound is off. So you can send me a chat also with your solution if you like. You could send me a chat. But your, your sound is off on your computer. Jack, do you have a solution yet? How about you, Jonah? I have a question. 
Go for it, Jonah. Um, question is, um, um, how exactly are we gonna, how exactly do we sort the solution cards? Well, for instance, let me just show you very quickly, Jonah. Mm -hmm. Jonah, do you see, these are a bunch of cards that you can actually either cut out or just use. And these are one dot cards, those are the easiest. Two dot cards are harder, and three dot cards are really, really tough. You can either create your own game cards, or you can use the game cards that I gave you. And I gave you literally about 150 game cards. But right now, Jonah, we're just coming up with our own, our own game cards. Did, did that answer your question, buddy? Um. All right, go for it, Kennedy. Um, I did um four. I did four times six, and I did, for my thing, I did two times two. Two plus two, which is four, and then three plus three, which is six. So four times six. You know, uh, Kennedy. Do you know that you can do two plus two or two times two? Yeah. Isn't that cool? Yeah. And, and Claire, what do, what's your solution, Claire? Um, I did 30 minus six. Whoa, hold on a second. Oh, wait a minute. 30 minus six. But what are you, I need two numbers first that make 20. Oh yes, 30 minus six, perfect. And then what are your solutions for that? Um. 5, 12, 6, and 72. And can you tell me how you use those cards to solve your puzzle? 5 times 6 is 30, and 72 divided by 12 is 6. Oh, my God. I think that that one is the best game card yet. That is the best game card yet, because that was really challenging, at least for me it was. Gabby, go for it. So I was working on 60, 96 divided by four. My solution is, so to get to 96, I did 49, I mean 95 plus 50 plus one. Wait, wait, so 95 plus 50 plus one? Yes. That gets you to 96? Yeah. Or is it just 95 plus one that gets you to six? So 50 plus 49 equals 95. Oh, 50 plus 45 equals 95. Plus one equals 96. And then when you put the 95, I had four for the number four. Oh, now that is clever, Gabby. Fantastic. Now, guys, this is a lot of fun. Now, I want you, to, Olivia, did you come up with one? Okay, go for it, kiddo. Raise your hand. Come on, share it. Make us, make us smarter. I did um, 72 divided by three. Ooh, that's a sweet one. How'd you get to 72 and three? So for 72, I did 50 plus 22. I love it. I love and then it. One plus two. That's fantastic. Sam. What about you, buddy? What about you? I don't really um, get this. It's confusing. Okay, so let's do this. Let's do this. I am going to do a special one with you, Sam. And Sam, I want you to give me any two numbers that together can make 24, whether it's addition, subtraction, multiplication, or division. You choose it. Okay. Six times four. All right. So I'm going to write down a six times four. That Sam, is the strategy that I want to accomplish. Got that? Mm -hmm. So I say to you, Sam, and everybody else try to help him right now. I say, Sam, how do you get to six? Give me two numbers 
that makes six. Any way you want to do it. You could do 12 divided by 2, 18 divided by 3, or something more simple. Give me two numbers to get to 6, any way you want. I'm trying to figure out mine. 3 plus 3. Good. So you now, your card has two 3s in it. And how about the 4? Um, 0. Well, zero is not going to get you four. I need two numbers to get to four. Oh, two plus, plus two. Yeah. So four. look at this. A three, three, two, two card can definitely get you to six times four. But watch this. Do you know that there are literally an infinite number of ways to get to six and four? Yeah. So watch, watch this. I'm going to do 12 divided by two. That gives me six. And I'm going to do 16 divided by 4, which gets me to 4. Do you see that, Sam? So I can, do, I can do addition, subtraction, anything, any way I want. So keep going. And I want to hear from Gabby. Go, Gabby. So mine was 72 divided by 3. Okay, so Olivia, that was one that Olivia did too. Now, how, did you get to it by a different way? Yes. So how I did it was 100. So to get to 72, I did 100 minus 28. Awesome. And then to get to three, I did nine divided by three. Whoa. That is a real cool one. But I'm now thinking of a crazy way. Are you guys watching this? I'm going to use Gabby's idea, but I'm taking away the nine and the three. And watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to make a five and a five. Now, you might be thinking, Kramer, what are you thinking? What could you be thinking? That doesn't make a three, but watch this. Who knows what, and raise your hand, don't say this out loud. Who knows what five times five is? Everybody say it on three. One, two, three, go. 25. And who knows a hundred divided by 25? How many times does 25 go into a hundred? You can say it on Four. three. One, two, three. Four. Four. And then who knows what is 28 take away four? 24. 25. 24. And that's another crazy way to get there. That was awesome. Now, do I have any? Oh, Camilla. Camilla, give me your idea, please. And Camille, I think you're unmuted. Yeah, you're good. It's my mind. Okay, no problem. No problem. Now, I want to take you guys now to the actual game. We're going to take a little ride to the actual game. Now, this is the actual game. Raise your hand if you would like to choose the card. I'm going to let you guys choose the card. So who's going to choose the card? Teddy, I want you to choose the card. Just tell me the four numbers on the card to choose it. Go. Um, what card? Teddy, you have, uh, let's see, six. you have 24, no, you have 18 cards to choose from on this page. You can choose 8, 2, 4, and 4. Okay. You can choose 8, 8, 4, and 4. Um, one eight eight seven. One eight eight seven. I like it. I like it. Everybody, let the games begin. Now get working right now. And your job is to use these numbers to come up with 24. Now, in about a minute, I'm going to give you guys a hint to solve it, but not right away. I want you guys to think of a way to make 24 with these numbers. 
And these numbers, guys, are awesome. Teddy picked really well. Oh, and remember, I would think of what happens when you pair two numbers at a time. When you pair two numbers at a time, that sometimes is the easiest way. Now, if you raised your hand, try to find a new way to do it. So let, and write down what you got. Don't ever do this without a pencil. Write down your solution and then do it again. Oh. And Hayden, why don't you pick up your pencil, Hayden, and see if you could do it as well. Is everybody working their pencil? I see uh, Kennedy is definitely. Now, Sam, go find another way now. Leave your hand up, but write it down and find a different way. What do you mean? What you mean find a different way to get 24? Yep, that's right. Everybody who's raising their hand right now, try to find a different way, and then I'll I'll call on as many people as possible. Hmm. You know, guys, this one is really fun. It is really fun. Um, those of you who raised your hands, those of you who raised your hands, I'm gonna start with Sam. Uh, wait, wait, no, no, I'm gonna start with Olivia and then Sam. Go, Olivia. I did eight plus seven. Is you have to say what it is. Is fifteen. Good. And then eight plus one is nine. And then nine plus fifteen is twenty-four. You totally rock. You totally rock. Now for Sam, go, buddy. Um. So can it be a way we never done before? Oh Wait. man, I, I want that if you can. I mean, because I just came up with one. Yeah, yeah, tell me what it is. Six times four. Say again? Six times four. And where did you find six in here and where did you find a four? Uh, yeah, you have, to, you have to actually have a six and a four. Gabby, do you have a different way? I have two. I figured out two. So my first one is eight plus eight equals 16. 16 plus seven equals 23. 23 plus one equals 24. Wow. And, and Claire, give me one of yours. Um, eight plus eight. Wait, I did the same one. Oh, eight plus eight cool. is 16 and seven plus one is eight. I have Kennedy, what about one. you, buddy? Me? Um, I did. I did. Eight plus eight is eight plus eight is sixteen, and then seven plus one is eight, and then that makes altogether twenty-four. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Really, really cool. Now, guys, I really think this is a very difficult card, and the reason I think this is a difficult card is because the only way to get to 24 is to add all four numbers. I don't think I found a different way. I'm gonna, I'm gonna lower everybody's hand and then call on Gabriel. Gabriel, do you see a different way than using addition? Yes, no, but it's a really interesting way. I, I, can't, I can't use, all, like I, I didn't use all the numbers in this. Oh, yeah. So the only thing is, is you got to use all the numbers. Eight. And how did you do it without using all the numbers? Um, eight plus eight plus eight. Well, you used all the numbers because there's an eight there, eight there, and an eight there. And oh, that, yeah. yeah, very cool. Now, Claire, do you have a different way? I was just going to do that one. So all right. Eight now, and then eight times three. Now, I'm going to ask Maisie. Maisie, could you please choose the next card for me? Can you please choose the next card? So unmute yourself if you're muted. 
and choose the next card here. So I would love to see that. Um, two, four, four, eight. Two, four, four, eight. I'm trying to find it. Two, four, four, eight. Two, four, four, eight. Uh, two, four, four, eight. Two, four. Oh, there it is. Right up there on top. Thank you, Maisie. Okay, everybody. There's your next challenge. Now, remember, I want to see major, major strategy here. I think I see more solutions here than before. And remember, when you come up with an answer, write it down and then go find a new one. Oh, James, yours are awesome. Yours are awesome. By the way, I saw that chat you said you sent James and you really rock, man. That was great. Oh, and I'm going to write the target number. It sometimes for me is easier if I keep my eye on the target. So Gabriel, look for another another solution right now. I do have a solution. Yes, I know. Write it down and look for another one. And that way nobody else gets to hear yours until they find their own. And Hayden, if I were you, I would put that pencil to your paper and start making all types of calculations. Go, you know, eight plus four, eight minus four, eight minus two. Who knows what we can come up with? So many really, really fun things to do. Oh, you can use anything. Okay. So Gabriel, can you share your solution with us and everybody gets to watch this? Okay, um, four times eight and eight times four. Well, if you do four times eight, you just use the eight and the four card. Now, can you tell me what four times eight is? Four times eight is um, 24. Pretty close. Eight times three is 24. Six times four is 24. But eight times four is 32. But guess what? You can get to 24 this way, Gabriel. Does anybody see it? Chris, do you see it? Chris, how can you get from 32 to 24 with the other two cards? Let me see. And I'm going to come back to you. Jack, what do you think? Do you, did you find a way to get there? And I'm trying to unmute you, so you'll have to help. Jack, you'll have to hit the unmute button. I'll come back to you when you're unmuted. Um, and Sam, did you have an idea? I couldn't um, hear you, buddy. Is there any possible way to do that, like, problem? <laughs> yeah, there are many, many ways. But the way that your brother got 8 times 4, we need to get to 24. Olivia, what do you see? No, I mean with just addition. Oh, oh with just addition? I do not believe so, my friend. I do not believe so. So go ahead, Olivia. So you add the two and four, and you get six, and then you do 32 minus six. Well, 32 minus six gets us to 26. So, Olivia, you're really, really close. Now, go back to the drawing board. Claire, what do you got for me? So, two times four is eight, and 32 minus eight is 24. Guys, do you see two times four is eight? eight. And then 32 minus eight is 24. Awesome. And Olivia, that was a great try. Now, who's got a completely different solution? Who's got a completely different solution? Jack? Go for it, Jack. And you'll have to, oh, you're, you're unmuted. That's good. So now you just have to tell us. 
Jack, you'll have to try one more time. There was too much noise. Uh, Jack, there's a lot of feedback on your line. So we'll come back to you, buddy, when you can fix that. Um, I'm looking for Gabby now. Go ahead, Gabby. So my solution is eight times two equals 16. Got it. Four plus four equals eight. Got it. And 16 plus eight equals 24. Uh, guys, that is rocking, rocking and perfect. Who's got another one? By the way, I'm gonna give you guys a little hint. You ready for this? You ready for a little hint? Eight times three. I see a beautiful eight and I see a three over here. Do you guys see a three? Yeah. How can I make three with two, four, and four? How can I make three with two, four, and four? Does anybody know? And Sam, do you have an idea? Um, yeah, it was um, four, um, it was eight. Um, so to get to 24, Okay, so you you're not you're not getting me to three with these cards, uh, right? Um, yes. Me, no. Or are you? No. Okay, so I'll I'll just erase what I did here, and then we'll do that later. So let's do yours right now. Mm -hmm. Go. Um. So two. Um, and we're trying to get to twenty-four, correct? That's always our target number. Yes. So, so eight. So eight. Times two is sixteen. That's sixteen. Good. Um, and four. And four times and four and two fours. So you add two fours to get eight, and then did you add sixteen and eight? Yeah, that's twenty-four. Very, very nice. And that, and I've seen that solution, Drew. What about you? Um. So you could just so you could just do two four divided by four, and then. Um, wait wait you and can't say and then you, wait wait hold on. What is four divided by four, Drew? One. Keep going now. Plus two. Plus guys, are you all watching this? That's how you get to three, and then. Times eight. And then eight times three is yeah. twenty-four. Drew, I can't believe that you solved it. That was awesome. Really, really awesome. Now, I was wondering if there's another way. How many of you remember the math fact six times four? Who remembers six times four? Well, guys, do you see a six here? And do you see a four here? Come on, let's do it, guys. Two plus four is six, six. and six. eight minus four is four. And six times four is 24. Now, Jack, did you have another way? Let me one more minute. I did the same thing, except I didn't use the eight. So I went Explain that to me. So I went four plus two, equals six, then I did six times four equals 24. Whoa, that is awesome. But yes, you didn't solve it because we've got to use all four cards. So let's go back to the drawing board. And Drew, do you have another solution? Uh, no. <laughs> okay, uh, how about you, Sam? All right, I'm gonna let, um, let's see. I'm gonna let Camilla choose the next card. Camilla, go. Anyone you want. 
And Camilla, can you see the screen, honey? Yes. Okay, great. Can you give me, just choose any one of those 18 cards, please. Seven, four, five, and three. And seven, four, five, and three. Seven, four, five, and three. Ooh, Camilla, this could be a really fun one, a really challenging one. Let the games begin, everybody. This is a game you guys can play all summer long. It is so much fun and it feels so good, it makes my brain feel good when I come up with a solution. And you cannot make that. Now let's see. Huh. Oh, I see a really good one. Camilla, you chose a great one. I don't see everybody working it. I see most everybody with their pencil working, working, working. And I see some people, you're kind of laying back here. And if you're laying back, there's no way. You got to lean forward. Mm -hmm. And you got to write on that paper and try a thousand things. Jonah, I want you to lean forward and pick up that pencil and see what happens. Amazing okay. things. Oh. Amazing things are going to happen. Jesse, why don't you give us your solution, buddy? Uh, my solution is um, 7 minus 4, which equals 3. I agree. And 5 plus Three, I mean, five plus three equals eight, and three times eight equals 24. Wow. Jesse, that was amazing. That was so, so awesome. Now, Jesse, go back to the drawing board and find another solution. Go for it. Um, let's see. <laughs> Olivia, what did you come up with, honey? And unmute yourself. There you go. Uh, four times three equals 12. Wait, four times three equals 12. And then seven plus five equals 12. Uh, and then Whoa. Guess what, Olivia? Keep going. 12 plus 12 equals 24. Now, guys, I got to... I got to tell you something. I didn't even see that one. I didn't even see that one. And we, you guys want to see something really fun? Watch this, guys. Instead of doing seven plus five, what if we did seven minus five? What do we get? Three. Who? Mm -hmm. Seven minus five, everybody. What do we get? Three. And two. don't mute it. And what if what happens, guys, with twelve and two? Twelve times two. Twelve times two. Twenty-four. So, so Olivia, you really opened up an entire world of new solutions. Chris, do you have one, Chris? If you pick up your pencil and you work this problem, amazing things is going to happen. Amazing things are going to happen for you. But trying it in your head. Not going to do it. I have to write each one of these down. Writing everything down. Jesse, you've got another one. You're coming alive here, buddy. Go for it. Um, I have um, five times four, which equals 20. Whoa. And Wait seven a minute. Hold minus on a three second. equals. Four. Hold on a second. Five times four is 20. Keep going. Then seven minus three equals four. Then Thousand. 20 plus four equals 24. It's 367. Jesse, man, that was awesome. That was awesome. Keep going, guys. Keep going. And in about a minute, I'm going to choose the last card. And oh, by the way, guys, I want you to see something right now. I'm going to choose my own card. 
And my own card Never mind. is going to be an ugly okay. card. Now, the reason why I call my card an ugly card is because it's going to be an impossible solution. So one of the impossible solutions is one, 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 and one. Can we ever, ever get to 24 with just a bunch of ones? Is no. that possible? No. No. So that is called an impossible card. Can you guys come up with another impossible card? Who thinks they can invent one right now? Go ahead, Teddy. Zero, zero, and zero. For and? Zero. And zero. That is definitely an impossible card. No question about it. I love it. Who's got another one? Gabby, go. Gabby, are you, do you have one, honey? Yeah. Two, zero, one, one. Yep. There is no way, there is no way that we are going to get to 24. Jack, what do you have? Um, I did, I did 10, 10, 10, 10. Now let me just think about this for a second. 10 and 10 can get me a 1, a 0, a 100, or a 20. And then the other two 10s, yeah, I don't see a way to get to 24. That's beautiful. Jack, that was awesome. Chris? Um, 25. 25, zero, zero, and zero. Wow. You know, Chris, if you had given me one non-zero here, like, I don't know, six, I could have done something really strange. You ready? Watch this. I could have done six to the zeroth power, and you guys haven't learned this yet, but that will equal one. And then I could do one plus zero is still one. And 25 minus one is 24. But Chris, you didn't give me a six. You didn't allow me to solve that. That's an impossible card. Drew, do you have a possible card? Um, I have an impossible card. Go for um, it. So, um, 100, 100, 100, zero. <laughs> you know what? That is pretty, pretty impossible. Now, guys, we are out of time. We are out of time. And what I want to say to you guys is nothing really in math is truly impossible. So what we have to do is come up with creative ways to solve. And I want you guys to take a journey with me right now. And that journey is going to start with the number negative 24. And I want you guys to add as fast as you can with me. We're going to, we're going to go on three. And we're going to count by threes. Go. Negative 24, go. Negative 21. Go. Negative um, 18. Go. Negative 15. Go. 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 Ever say negative zero. Two, four, six, eight. Who do we appreciate? Mathly. Mathly. Go, Mathly. And I want you guys to say goodbye to all the beautiful people in this meeting and say, guys, it was great seeing you, and I hope to see you next week. And I can't wait to see your solutions. By the way, 
send me your okay. solution pages. Create lots and lots of solutions and send them to me and I'll put them on the website. All right, guys, be well. See you soon. Bye. Bye. Au revoir. Bye. I Bye, think guys. my mom signed up. Wait, Mr. Kramer. I'm never hanging up. Okay, Mr. I'll hang Kramer. up. Mr. Kramer. Yes, How many Kevin. hours are we going to see you in next, from here to next time? Oh, wait a minute. Let's see. Next time, most of these guys are going to be coming to like a Wednesday class. So it's really... A yeah, I'm coming there. I'm coming there. Mr. Kramer. Kramer. I'm coming so there. I have... Oh, my God. It's about 144 hours. It's a gross number of hours. Kennedy. Kennedy, wow. that was the coolest thing. Yeah. It's a gross number of hours. What does that mean? A gross is 12 times 12, which is 144. The number actually has a name and it's called, it wouldn't be like, oh, Mr. Kramer, we think your glasses are gross. No, that's an adjective. But the word gross is as a noun, means the number 144. Isn't that cool? Cool. So anyway, guys, I'm so glad. This was so much fun. Uh, Jesse, Gabby, Kennedy, Hayden, take care. See I'll ya. see you next